Today was pretty exciting. It was the LA Youth Hack Jam, which is where uh, a bunch of participants of varying age between like 5 and 18, along with their parents, were able to kind of join and congregate in this uh, Wildwood school and work with a bunch of mentors uh, specializing in all different sorts of uh, disciplines, whether it was from design to development to basically or just like hacking anything that they wanted to build or build together. It's been inspired by Mozilla's Summer of Code party. Similar hack jams are happening around the world. Computers and technology are ever present in our world and we want our kids to not just be consumers of this technology but to be able to be creators and makers. I think that's kind of the main thing is a huge meet and greet for our up and coming nerds of the future to like learn how to use machines as opposed to just being consumers of things like Facebook. Now they can break Facebook down. You don't have to know all of the in intricacies of C++ and all that. There are lots of easier ways to get kids started learning about how algorithms work and thinking in that problem solving way. So even if they don't end up becoming programmers themselves, they've boosted their thinking skills and they've learned how to analyze problems um, and they just have a better knowledge of how technology works. I think it's also great that parents participate in a program like this because um, I saw some of the parents in our session, they were kind of intimidated on how to program or didn't know how to use the program but once they saw their four-year-old um, being successful at it, then, then they were more um, open to try it themselves. The light that goes on in the kids' eyes when something that they've made, something that really is their own creation, and knowing that they're going to take that sense of being capable, their sense that they, they tried something, they didn't get it the first time, but then they tried again and they were able to finish and succeed. One of the things that I learned from today was that children actually learn at a faster rate and they can build at a faster rate. So I was blown out of my mind. Making is, is such a lost art and it, we need to bring it back. You know, how do we merge the maker movement with education, especially since we've decided as a society that we don't make things anymore for some reason and we're closing down tool pro like the shop programs. We don't, basically don't teach programming in schools, uh, even though more and more software governs how our lives operate. Kids can maybe you know, calculate lots of great math equations, but they don't know how to build a robot. And the math is not very much good if it just stays on the blackboard. You have to put it into the machines, and that means you have to build the machines. And so where we're at now with a lot of this, you know, the maker movement is how do we set up standalone spaces so students from independent of school, independent of age, can come together and work on developing projects. For a lot of the people that are here are part of the Los Angeles Makerspace Working Group. The idea is that we want to open up a community space somewhere in Los Angeles where uh, it's age agnostic, so people of all ages can come in and learn about software programming or hardware, electronics. You have a safe place where the kids can go to and they can make messes with their projects and they can learn to use uh, impressive, really powerful equipment that we have nowadays, such as laser cutters and three-dimensional printers. I don't know, after the different kids that I had talked to, I definitely think that we got a bunch of future geniuses. These are people who are going to be like building the world and probably building the next interface that we're going to be working with.